Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time to take our rocks and put them into the final step. They are really getting nice and smooth now. I'm going to run these out and run them through the colander with the water like I did last time. Get them cleaned up. We'll bring them back in here and take a look. Yeah, they're looking really good. I got the barrel all cleaned up and I made sure I took my toothbrush and got in here like I've done all the other times. Got the lid clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash those rocks and every one of them I'm going to go over with a toothbrush like we did before so they're really super clean. It's really critical on this fourth and final step. Once again I can't stress it enough like this one here is a really nice smooth rock but then right here there's a little crevice. Make sure you get in there a little divot right there with the toothbrush to make sure there's no little grains of the grit stuck in there. This one here is still looking really nice. So this is the last of the rocks that needed to be washed and you can see I mean we had no real tiny rocks and now we're down to some real little pieces. Some of these could have just broken off of other bigger rocks but it looks like we have a little less than half of a tumbler full here. So this is the old ceramic media that was in the tumbler. Uh, you can use this if you have to. Um, you make sure you wash it really good. Again, it's just another chance for hundreds of things to have a piece of grit on them that will scratch your other rocks. Think of it as your eye. When you get something in your eye, it hurts like crazy and it can scratch your eye so easy. That, that's kind of how I think of the rocks. Luckily for me, I have more ceramic media. I'm going to put new in this batch. That's what I like to do for the final batch. And then I'll just save this stuff and use it for second grind or whatever. First if I would need it, but usually I just put it in on second. Ah, uh, in my next batch. Alright, so we got some new ceramic media there, and we're going to go into step four, which is TXP polish. This stuff is really fine. I wish I had some of the smaller stuff, but we're going to give the bigger stuff a try. All my smaller ones have been used before. So now you can see here that I'm about two-thirds full. You really don't want to go over two-thirds. I really want to get some good movement in this, uh, this batch so that everything polishes real nice. And again, um, with this much volume, I could get by just putting in 10 tablespoons of the TXP polish, but I'm going to go ahead and do 12. We'll just keep it uniform through the whole entire video. Well, now I've went and added water, just enough to cover up the rocks. A little bit of it sticking through, not much. We're doing pretty good. Now we want to make sure that we clean this edge really well because I've had it before where you end up having a barrel blowout and <laughs> it's a mess. Put our cover back on. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. You can tell a 
complete difference in the sound of the tumbler now compared to that first batch. You have to leave these in here now for five to seven days. I will leave them in here for seven days and we should be done. Last year on this day, it was 31 below zero Fahrenheit. Today it is, right now it's 24, so it's 55 degrees warmer than it was last year. I'll see you guys on the next video.